and welcome back to another Green Stripes video. I'm Daniel, and today I'm going to be showcasing a map that you can get access to through Minecraft Realms. And if you don't know what Minecraft Realms is, it's basically a Minecraft server you can set up. It costs $10 a month or something, but it's a lot simpler than actually, it's a lot more simple than actually setting up a Minecraft server. Server, and it comes with a bunch of cool mini games. And this is one of the newest ones. I just saw it yesterday. And so, yeah, I'm going to be showcasing this mini game. And I'm actually, this is a capture the flag mini game, sort of, kind of like the one I made, except a hundred times cooler. That's the arena down there. That's one side of the arena, actually. Um, but yeah, this is a capture the flag arena game and I'm going to be going through some of the mechanics but I'll have another video for more of the mechanics eventually because this is a very cool game and I'll probably be making more videos about it and also I want to let you know this I will not be playing skyblock for a while because I'm kind of de devastated that I died and lost all my stuff so I'm going to not be playing it for a while and then I'm going to do some things to get better, and then eventually I'll start doing Skyblox again, but that probably won't be for a long time. So first of all, I'm going to show you the team choosing mechanics, which is really, really simple. Um, if you want to have a random team, you just walk through these particles or press on this. Actually, no. Walk through the particles. And if you want to join the Egyptians, which is one of the teams, you press on this sign or just simply walk through these particles and it's the same for the archaeologists which is the other team and then once you have chosen a team you can to start the game you want to go over here press well actually I'm going to go to options first because I want to add AI which are because I'm playing single player, there's, um, that I want, these are AI, are just skeletons with armor on that have the same weapons as you, including a sword, and they're actually quite smart. They switch to the sword if you're very close by, but it makes it easy, it makes it, this map, possible for only one player, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot more fun with two players, and I've never played it with one player, only with two players, so this is a first time. And, yeah, so, I think I'm going to start the game. And if you didn't understand before, this it's just going to be me and some AI against a bunch of other AI. And I don't think the AI actually um, go to attack the other team's flag. I'm pretty sure they just stay on your side. I'm Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just stay on your side and defend your flag so I'm kind of gonna have some time where there's not gonna be anything to do so I'll put I'll go through a couple of the mechanics while I'm playing so I'm gonna start game T from game start yay I'm the Egyptians that's my favorite game team okay so you have a shield a sword and a bow and this leads you to a place where you can get a, a litra and a shortcut or you can always go out back there or back here but i am going to take the litra shortcut so oh that was weird so if we go down this path and also the red, the other team's spawn point is over there, so in a real game with more than one player, they'd probably be charging down there, and you'd have a harder time getting through here. Now, I'm probably going to do terrible, since I just learned how to use an Elytra yesterday while playing this map, so I might not be able to do it. But basically, that's the archaeologist base. And there's some shortcuts that I will show you later to get to the other person's base, but I'm going to use my later. Yes, it works! It works! Oh jeez, that, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Okay. Okay, no, no AIs over here. Okay. 
There's probably going to be lots of AIs once I... So basically, there's five AIs per team. And I died. That was one of the AIs. So... So, yeah, there's five AIs per team. And that's the maximum amount of AIs you have. So, there's five AIs protecting my base. And five AIs protecting the other base. And also, if you do just want to walk down from here or walk across the arena, you can. That that didn't work. But oh yeah, so first of all, I'm going to show you my base because now now that I'm spawning here. So when you go down these stairs, that's my AI, and then my flag is right there. And there's a bunch of AIs everywhere. And then there's a couple ways to get out oh my god i keep thinking that they're the other teams guys so you can go through the front or the sides and yeah so i'll actually no i won't pause it yet so i don't think i mentioned this video might be a little bit long since i don't know how long the games are but yeah so there's a shortcut over here once you get to the middle and then there are barriers at the end but you can actually from this side you can just jump over them but only from this side yes that was an awesome shot and actually there if you can do this little bit of parkour here which it seems I'm, well, I, I did that, there, uh, um, so if I could just get to the top, and get across here, and there, one AI dead, and if I can get that other AI from here, that would be a great shot, no, miss, also miss oh he's seen me no he's he's hidden there's probably lots of AIs also I don't think they can use their shields though yes got him okay so I have <laughs> this and now I need to run before I'm killed There's one there. There's one over there. If I can get to the top of here, and there, if there's a leecher there, still, even though I'm, because I'm not sure if they respawn there, then I can get to my base easily. Oh, well, they won't attack me now unless they're chasing me. But I don't think they do that. So, once I get this flag back to my base, I think, I think that's going to be basically it's for the game since they can't get their flag back the flag is oh seriously oh I'll, I'll get down um yeah I, since the ais can't get the flag back once i get the flag to my base i've technically won so i don't need to um i don't need to continue until the timer runs out because there's nothing they can do. And that's the entrance to my spawn point over there. But basically, yeah, I think that's all for the game. I mean, I haven't gone back there yet, but that doesn't matter. So I think that's all for the game. Once I just get here. Okay, so yeah, I just won, basically. Because I captured the flag. And normally, whoever has the flag at the end of the game wins but since there's only one player one actual player and the AIs don't go there then I've won I think I've won I think so yeah I'm pretty sure I've won so I'm going to pause the video um, find out how to stop the game 
and then I'll see you when I'm back in the lobby. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so guys, to get back to the lobby, I actually had to restart my realm and restart the mini game because I actually couldn't get off because whenever I joined again, the game was still going. So that did not actually work. But that doesn't matter because, yeah, that's all for this video. I'll have another video where I do a game, but I join the spectators, so I can just show you all the features, but yeah, and that's all for this video, so goodbye.